everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another mini lead guitar tutorial. This time focusing on how to improve your soloing over major keys. Now, many aspiring lead players tend to make the bulk of their progress in the early going, maybe the first couple of years or so. But it's very common for students to start to hit a plateau and get stuck in this thing they call the pentatonic rut. So in this lesson, we're gonna be adding some additional notes to your toolbox by combining two powerful scales. The minor blue scale. And the mixolydian scale. Okay, you put those two scales together and it's going to form what is essentially the holy grail of major lead guitar playing, the Mixolydian Blues Hybrid Scale. Okay, so let's get started reviewing how to play the minor blues scale. You should already know how to play the basic solo in position, the common position of the minor pentatonic scale. To turn that into a blues scale, all you need to do is add in the flatted fifth interval. Remember, intervals are always in reference to the major scale. So to find the flat at fifth, play the major scale, up to the fifth note, and then flat it. Okay, so adding that in. All right, we have that very cool, very distinct chromatic line there. Five, eight, five, six, seven. All right, then it's just gonna be five, seven on the D string to complete the octave. All right, same notes again in the second octave. We're gonna have five, seven, eight on the G string. And then the B string and high E string will be the same. Five, eight, five, eight. Okay, so there you have it. That's the minor blues scale in the key of A. Okay, so that minor blue scale, very powerful, using that blue note, the flat at fifth. We're now able to add a lot more tension to our licks. So something like, can now become. All right, you can hear all that tension. Okay, making our licks sound way more professional. Okay, now moving on to the Mixolydian scale. This is really where all the fun starts for me. Now, while the blue scale is full of great possibilities, don't get me wrong, it's still very, very minor, and it does little to embellish all the warmth that we have inside these major and dominant seven chord shapes that we're jamming over top of. So to do that, we need to memorize the Mixolydian scale which is basically just the major scale with the seventh note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flat it back one half step. Uh, right there, it has the dominant seven or the flat at seven, which means it's going to be the perfect scale for jamming over top of dominant seven chords like A7. Okay, so. Okay, so breaking that scale down, we're starting on the low E string, we have five, seven. The A string, four, five, seven. And the D string, same thing, four, five, seven. All right, that's gonna complete one octave. Make sure you know the names of the notes that you're playing. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. It's so important that you practice the names of the notes, but also practice singing. That's gonna help you with your pitch and also your ear training. So. Okay, now the second octave, same notes. Uh, starting on the G string, we have four, six, seven. The B string, five, seven, eight. And the high E string, we can go to five and up to seven to finish up this position. 
Okay, put all that together and we have. Okay, so now I can start picturing those mixolydian notes and experiment with adding them into my go-to pentatonic licks. So something very boring like can become much more interesting. Okay, instead of playing those wide notes from the minor pentatonic, we can throw in this seventh fret of the B string. And I love just bending it up slightly. Okay, to add a little bit of tension there. Okay, so now let's combine those two scales, the minor blues scale. And the mixolydian. Okay, you combine all the notes from those two scales together and we have this very powerful mixolydian blues hybrid scale. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so that's a ton of notes, but a high level blues and rock guitar player is gonna know how and when to utilize them. Okay, so getting that scale under your fingertips, we had five, seven, eight on the low E string. Now, chromatic on the A string, four, five, six, seven. Then on the D string, just like the mixolydian, four, five, seven. Okay, then on the G string, we're gonna have chromatic all the way up to the flat five. So that was four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then on the B string, we're gonna have five, seven, eight. And the same thing on the high E. Now, I recommend practicing this scale with a little bit of a triplet feel. Okay, so syncopate it. Okay, and keep in mind, you can also go up to the major third that we have here on the ninth fret of the high E string. I do that all the time. Okay, it's very, very common for blues players to utilize both the minor and the major third in a given phrase. All right, so many different possibilities there when you're thinking about that minor third to major third jump. Okay, so there it is, the Mixolydian Blues Hybrid Scale. Practice that nice and slow, get it into your muscle memory. Remember, the goal is to be able to visualize that scale pattern when you're not even touching the fretboard. Okay, now I really recommend that you take your practice to the next level, starting with this technique. So that means not just learning how to play the scale and not just learning how to play some licks, but also memorizing the names of the notes that are inside the scale, the names of the intervals. So for this one, we'd have one, two, the flat at third, the major third, the four, the flat five, the five, the six, the flat at seven or dominant seven, the one, next octave we've got the two, the flat at third, the major third, the four, the flat fifth, that blue note. On the B string now we got the five, we've got the six again, which in the second octave you can also call the 13, the dominant seven, then the high E string, we've got one, two, flat three. And if you like, you can also go up a half step to get to another major third. Okay, so I know that can be a little bit overwhelming. It's a mess of notes. So let's talk implementation. One of the best ways that you can get started using this is just to think of your minor pentatonic scale or your blues scale as being your base or your safety net. Okay, from there, just add in one note at a time from your Mixolydian Blues hybrid scale. 
A great place to start would be this major third on the sixth fret of the G string if you're in the key of A. So play those basic pentatonic notes and then add in that major third. Very commonly again, going from minor third to major third. Okay, you can also find that here in the high A. And one of my favorite places, the fourth fret of the A string before we go into the root note on the D string, seventh fret. All right, to create a little harmony there. Okay, from there, try adding in the six. Okay, so many possibilities. It's gonna take a little while to get it into your plan, but absolutely, this is going to revolutionize your licks. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.